Hi, my name is Kimberly Wynn. I'm presenting a business under my name. It's a private practice that focuses on art therapy and creative workshops. If you're wondering what an art therapist is, it is someone who focuses on art media and art making to facilitate healing. So the problem that we're facing is that at some point, 70% of the world's population will experience some form of trauma, whether it's sexual, war, violence, neglect, etc. And most of the treatment we have is talk therapy and medication management. Research has shown that talk therapy is 70% effective, but what if we can increase the efficacy rate by adding other modalities such as art therapy? Because those with trauma can attest that Trauma memory is not just stored in our minds, which accesses verbalization, but it's also stored in our bodies. So art can be a great modality to integrate both the body and mind. And making art with others can promote a sense of community and understanding so that you feel less isolated and alone. Art media also is a natural, it has natural characteristics of reducing stress for example, with the textural experience of clay, it can and, fi and fiber arts, it can reduce stress and also the repetition of making stitches when you're sewing or the stitches and crocheting. That that repet repetitive manner can also reduce stress. So I started this business in September 2003, and I opened my studio with my one client, I left a job in which I felt burnt out and took a risk to start my own business. So this past January, I got credentialed with major insurance companies and I filled my caseload with about 40 to 50 people. And so I had to hire a administrative assistant to help me with the workload. So this past month, I developed art therapy um, group workshop ideas and I executed my idea this past weekend, which was successful. And in the future, I'd like to have more group workshops so that I can increase the numbers that I reach with art therapy. And I would also like to create more content to increase my credibility within the community. So unlike other companies, I address trauma. There are providers out there that will not touch trauma because they do not have adequate training or they have some misunderstanding of trauma. I also think that accessibility is important, so I am contracted with major insurance companies and I also have some partnerships with local organizations such as a local creative reuse organization that uses material, art materials that would otherwise go to the landfill and a women-focused organization that c provides resources for women who experience marginalization. So my team is made out of made up of, um, firstly me. I am the founder. I created this business because I have experienced trauma intergenerationally, as my parents are refugees from the Vietnam War, and I used art to help understand their story and mine. I am a licensed professional counselor and a board certified art therapist. My mentor, Linda Tai, is a mental health professional and an educator. She worked with Bessel van der Kolk, who is the author of Body Keeps the Score, who has really changed the way that we see trauma. Wendy is a former classmate of mine who helps me develop art therapy programs. and. Phi Wong Lei is my administrative assistant who has helped me so much with taking on the administrative piece and having me focus more on the clinical pieces. So thank you so much for listening to my presentation. This is my contact. If you want to reach out to me, please follow me at Art Therapy with Kim. What I'm asking for is um, financial resources to provide art materials for future group workshops as well as resources to hire a bookkeeper and biller. And please feel free to follow me at Art Therapy with Kim if you cannot help in that way. So thank you for the Rosie Network and our sponsor. And that is my presentation. Thank you.